we have been into Omicron variant pretty quick. Making assumptions, getting updates in which there are some good news, there are some bad news and much more. And one update among that is the presence of sequence of codons from hcov 229 e virus into the Omicron variant. So basically, what's found in the common cold virus is now found in the Omicron variant of virus 2. Let's get to the basics first. Here on the left we have the HCOV-19, referred as SARS-CoV-2. And on the other hand we have the HCOV-229E virus. Both are human coronavirus. The left one which is the SARS-CoV-2 causes the COVID-19. Whereas the right one that's HCOV-229E virus causes the common cold. Even though there are many other viruses which causes the common cold like rhinovirus, influenza virus, adenovirus and many more. Now looking at the COVID-19, we know it is a pandemic nowadays and it's non-seasonal, like it's persistent throughout the year. But the common cold is seasonal and it's not a matter of concern. Here we see we have a specific sequence present on HCO-229E, which is UUC, UGG and CUC. It's at 255 position. And somehow this sequence has got into the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So it's a kind of insertion report as INSEPE214 in SARS-CoV-2. So in simple words, it's the insertion of UUC, UGG, CUC from HCO-229E virus into the SARS-CoV-2 virus at 214 position. So a mutation called as INSEPE214 is found in the Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2. Now let's get to the mechanism how this insertion takes place into the Omicron variant. Here in this diagram we have the human host cell. It expresses HAS2 receptor and also expresses the alanyl aminopeptidase receptor referred as ANPEP. The HAS2 receptor receives the SARS-CoV-2 virus as shown in the animation. Whereas the ANPEP receptor receives the HCO-229E virus. Then we know there is membrane fusion of these viruses and ultimately their genome is sent into the host cell. Like we see the SARS-CoV-2 sends its positive RNA genome into the host cell. Whereas 229E virus sends its own positive RNA genome into the host cell. Here we see we have a specific sequence of SARS-CoV-2 as CGU, GAU, CUC. The first codon is at the 214 position. In the same way we have a specific sequence on 229E virus as UUC, UGG, CUC at 255 position. So what actually happens is that the sequence from 229E virus, that is this sequence, is inserted into the SARS-CoV-2 at 214 position as shown in the diagram. And this all happens with a mechanism called template switching, which we are going to see now. Here on the left we have 229E virus. On the right we have SARS-CoV-2 virus. Like we have already seen a sequence of interest on 229E virus as UUC, UGG, CUC. And on SARS-CoV-2 virus, we have CGU, GAU and CUC. Both are present in the same host cell in the form of positive strand. First, we convert the 229E virus positive strand into negative strand as AAG, ACC and GAG. Now on the right, when we act on SARS-CoV-2 RNA, the RNA polymerase comes in and moves into first codon. And we get GAG. Then on next codon we get CAU. But from here the template switch occurs. As we see the RNA polymerase jumps to the 2290 RNA template at 3' prime end and starts making strand. So AAG gives us UUC, ACC gives us UGG and GAG gives us CUC. And then again RNA polymerase moves to its original strand of SARS-CoV-2 and starts from where it has left, like CGU gives us ACG. So this strand which has been developed now is the negative strand for SARS-CoV-2. The green ones are the insertion from HCO-229E virus. And now we have to make positive strand out of it. The RNA polymerase comes in and starts making strand. And we get codons in the form of CGU, GAG, CCA, GAA, GAU, CUG and so on. Now this strand will act as a mRNA strand and will get into the translation process. 
and in the translation process we get arginine glutamate proline glutamate aspartate leucine so the three insertions from h code 229e virus are coded as epe that's glutamate proline and glutamate and this sequence is found in the spike protein of omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2 at 214 position and it's accordingly named as INS EPE214 that's insertion of EPE at 214 so this is how we get common cold virus sequence insertion into the SARS-CoV-2 Omicron variant now the question is will these kind of mutations will affect the transmissibility of Omicron variant or its severity this will be seen pretty soon when the data will be available in the upcoming weeks I hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks